Hello and welcome to Excel Video 261. I'm Nate Moore. I've been helping a group this morning pull their old accounts receivable data and track it over the past couple of years by insurance balance and by patient balance, by who the doctor was, the location, who the primary insurance was, all those kind of things so we can see some trends. When you're ready to trend and understand and analyze your accounts receivable data, let's talk. Today what I want to talk about is the sort and filter menu, specifically sorting. Sorting is a big thing in Excel. You sort data a ton and I want to show you how to sort and how not to sort your data today in Excel. What I have is some AR data. It starts, uh, I've got a heading in row 1 and then goes from row 2 down to row 101. So I've got 100 rows of accounts receivable data and I know the claim, the balance, the date, who it's due from, all kinds of information about those claims. Let's assume I want to work them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the date menu and I'm going to say, you know, what I really want to do, let's just pick some of these dates and say, you know, I just want to sort by date and look at the oldest ones first. This is how not, and I mean how not to sort data in Excel. If you just select a little piece of the data rather than, in, rather than the entire group of data, let me show you what happens. If you go to sort, and we'll choose oldest to newest because I want to work those old claims first, you're going to get a big warning here. And Excel says, hey, there's data around your selection. If you don't expand your selection like it's trying to prompt you to do, you're going to scramble everything. But we're going to scramble everything just to show you what it looks like. When I sort, now I've got my September and then my December old claims at the top. But notice what's happened. My September 20th claim. $324 from Cigna, right? Let me show you what's going on in this pre-sort tab, which has the very same data before I screwed up the sorting. And I look down here and I said, where is all oh, the September 20th is down here. It's still Cigna, but see the balance is it's really claimed 30,012 for 1537. Well, what happened to that? Oh, it's it's down here, it's still Cigna. And that's I've got that date, but I've got uh, a May 12th date instead of a September 20th date. See how it scrambled my data? Everything else here and here and here stayed constant, but all these moved around without the corresponding row moving with it. If you're not careful when you sort in Excel, you can scramble your data something fierce as you just sort a piece of the data and everything else stays constant. So we're going to undo that because that clearly didn't work. And now we're going to sort the right way. What you want to do is you want to take all this data and I'm going to go shift end, END, and the down arrow, and select all the data. Now when I go to sort, and I want to sort, let's do smallest to largest, it's going to sort for me. Everything sorts. The challenge is, is it sorted everything by claim number, because that was what was in the far left column. It was already sorted by that, so you really can't see anything change. Let's do a custom, well, we'll do largest to smallest first, and now you see everything change. See, now I've got the, the largest claim at the top. You say, Nate, I really don't care about the claim number. What I really want to do is I want to sort by maybe the insurance company, who it's due from. Then I want to sort by the balance. How can I do that? We're going to come over here and select everything, shift, end, and down. We can go to custom sort. And here's what the custom sort menu will do. It'll say, all right, I'm going to start with claim because that's in the far left. I say, no, I want to start with who it's due from. And I'll sort that A to Z. And then I'm going to add a sorting level. And I'll sort that by the balance, let's say. And I want the largest balance on top because that's what I'm going to work. Let's click OK there. Now look what's happened. Now I've got all my Aetna claims here. And here's all my Blue Cross claims. And if I scroll down, there's my Cigna and my Medicare claims. And they're sorted by balance. So first we sorted by Aetna to get all of the Aetna claims together in that Do From column. Then we came over here and sorted by the balance column to get those next. That's the way to sort in Excel. There are a couple of more tricks to this custom sort window. It's, yeah, we'll let it expand the selection to show it to you. That will let us add and delete levels and tweak some of these things. We'll play with those next time. Thanks for watching.